اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم وَإِذْ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اسْجُدُوا لِآدَمَ فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ أَبَّا وَاسْتَكْبَرَ وَكَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ صدق الله العلي العظيم Dear brothers and sisters, the creation of universe, creation of Adam and Eve, the angels, the jinns, and all of the creations, are the part of a grand scheme of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From creating the universe in six days to the final day of judgment. This is whole grand scheme of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we as the children of Adam alayhi salam have a specific role to play. And to play the assigned role, we have to understand this grand scheme of Allah and our success and failure is depending on us understanding our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator, and the supporting team of angels and our opponent, which is shaitan. So today, inshallah, we will discuss the role of shaitan in our lives and our relationship with shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the word shaitan 95 times in 83 verses of Quran. Uh, the first ayah, the first ayah he mentioned in which how shaitan rose up against Adam alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِذْ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ سْجُدُوا لِآدَمَا فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ أَبَا وَاسْتَكْبَرَ وَكَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ And when we say to the angels, make such the or prostrate to Adam, they did as they directed, but not Iblis. He refused and was haughty and he was of the rejected. So he did takabur and then he did kufr. He rejected the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only that, he also argued against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he put his reasons that why did he what he did. He says, Ala ana khayrum min khalaqtani min nar wa khalaqtahu min teen. I am better than him. You created me from fire, but you created him, means Adam, from clay. And he did not stop here. He blamed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and announced his plan. He says, Qala Rabbi bima aghwaitani la uzayyinanna lahum fil ardi wa la uhwiyannahum ajmain. Oh my Lord, because you have put me in the wrong, I will make wrong fair seeming to them on the earth. And I will put them all in the wrong. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won the whole humanity, especially the people of belief, believers. Allah says, Ya yuhal ladina amanud khilu fis silmi kaafa wala tattabi'u khutuwati shaitan. O you who believe, enter into submission one and all and do not follow the footsteps of shaitan. And then Allah put a reason at the end of this ayah. He said, Innahu lakum aduhu mubeen. Surely he is your open enemy. Then Allah explained more about and compared himself with shaitan and his, his team, his followers. Allah says, Allahu waliyu ladina amanu yukhrijuhum mina zulumati ila nur. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَوْلِيَاهُهُمُ الطَّاغُوتُ يُخْرِجُونَهُمْ مِنَ النُّورِ إِلَى الظُّلُمَاتِ أُولَٰئِكَ سَابُ النَّارِ 
hum fiha khalidun allah is the guardian of those who believe he brings them out of the darkness into the light and as to those who disbelieve their guardians are shaitan who take them out of the light into the darkness they are the inmates of the fire in it they shall abide allah subhanahu wa taala further explain some characteristics of shaitan as well the one characteristic is that he threatens ash shaitanu yaidukum al faqra wa ya'murukum bil fahsha wallahu yaidukum maghfiratan min minhu wa fadla wallahu wasiun alim shaitan threatens you with poverty and enjoins you to be niggardly and allah promises you forgiveness from himself and abundance and allah is ample giving and knowing shaitan also is scared bring fear to the hearts of the believers allah subhanahu wa taala said innama dhalikum ash-shaytanu yukhawwifu awliya fala takhafuhum wa khafuni in kuntum mu'minin it is only shaitan that suggests to you the fear of his awliya fear of his friends fear of his partners and allah allah says fear them not wala fala takhafuhum wa khafuni fear them not but fear me if you are true believers shaitan is an enemy who always there who never sleeps who works for 24 hours so he also tricks every one of us falaula iz ja'ahum ba'suna tadarra'u walakin qasat qulubuhum wa zayyana lahum ash-shaytanu ma kanu ya'malun allah says if only when our disaster came on them they had been humble but their hearts were hardened and the devil made all that they used to do seem fair unto them shaytan also make false promises allah says yaiduhum wa yumannihim wa ma yaiduhum ash-shaytanu illa ghurura he the shaytan makes promises to them and arouses in them false desire and shaytan promises are nothing but deceptions we are living in the time where chaos is everywhere human killing human beings societies societies and communities around the globe are not in rest are not in peace they are killing each other they are destroying each other whole communities and communities destroying by bombings destroying by diseases and allah subhanahu wa taala said to us that this is our enemy shaitan who creates chaos innama yuridu shaytanu an yuqiya bainakum al adawata wal baghda fil khamri wal maisiri wa yasuddakum an zikrillahi wa anis salat fa hal antum muntahun allah explain that shaitan wants only to excite enmity and hatred between you with intoxicants means alcoholic drinks and gambling and hinder you from the remembrance of allah and from as salat the prayer so will you not then abstain means you should abstain from shaitan and his and his tricks and his uh, traps and why all of this shaitan is doing shaitan 
explain his ultimate goal in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaitan said, Qala fabima aghwaitani la aqudanna lahum sirataka al mustaqim. Thumma la atiyannahum min bayni aydihim wa min khalfihim wa an aymanihim wa an shamailihim wa la tajidu aktharahum shakiri. Iblis, the shaitan, announced it. His ultimate goal and he blamed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first he said because you have sent me astray surely I will sit in wait against them the human beings the children of Adam on your straight path then I will come to them from before them and behind them from their right and from their left and you will not find most of them as thankful ones. This is the ultimate goal of shaitan, the Iblis. Allah also explained who are those among human beings and the jinns, the close friends of shaitan. Allah said, وَالَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ رِيَاءَ النَّاسِ وَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَلَا بِالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَمَنْ يَكُنِ الشَّيْطَانُ لَهُ قَرِينًا فَسَاءَ قَرِينًا And also those who spend of their substance to show people and believe not in Allah and the last day. They are the friends of shaitan and whoever takes shaitan as an intimate, then what a dreadful intimate he has. And Allah advised to children of Adam and remind them what happened to the father and mother of, of these children, the human beings. Allah mentioned in Quran, Ya Bani Adama la yafti nannakum shaytanu kama akhraja ababaykum min al jannati yanzi'u anhuma libasahuma li yuriyahuma sawatihima innahum yaraku innahu yarakum huwa wa kabiluhu min haysu la tarawna Inna ja'alna shayateen awliya alil ladheena la yu'minu. Allah advise all children of Adam. O children of Adam, let not shaitan deceive you as he got your parents out of paradise, stripping them of their raiments to show them their private parts. Verily, he and his kabila, his tribe, see you from where you cannot see them. Verily, we made the shaitan awliya for those who believe not. And I want to share that according to according to Ibn al Qayyim, he explained very well that what happened to Shaitan, when he reject the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we can assume for all of those who reject any direction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what will happen to them? According to explanation of Ibn Qayyim rahimullah. Ibn Qayyim said that attitude caused Iblis to be ejected from in joining the company of angels to being debased and cursed, to be distant from Allah after being so close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from being recipient of his mercy to being a recipient of his curse, from being in paradise to being condemned to the blazing fire, from being beautiful to being ugly, from being a believer to being a disbeliever, from being the friend of Allah to being his greatest enemy, 
from being a person devoted to the glorification of his lord to being a person of kufr shirk lies and shameful deeds he became completely worthless and insignificant in the sight of allah and then he became a leader of every sinner and criminal we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that oh allah we take refuge with you from opposing your command and taking on board of your disrespect and also i want to share some of the hadith of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam regarding shaitan jabir radiyallahu an reported that i heard allah's messenger as saying the throne of iblis is upon the ocean and he sends detachments in order to put people to trial and the most important figure in his eyes is the one who is most notorious in sowing the seed of dissension of ikhtilaf prophet sallallahu also said the shaitan said by your glory and majesty I will never cease to misguide your slaves so long as their souls remain in their bodies. And Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala replied to him by saying that by my glory and majesty I will continue to forgive them so long as they seek my forgiveness. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also warned people that they should eat from their right hand using right hand when you are eating or drinking ibn umar radiyallahu anhu reported that allah's messenger saying when any one of you intends to eat the meal he should eat with his right hand and when he intends to drink he should drink with his right hand for the shaitan eats with his left and drinks with his left hand finally at the end of this talk we will share an aya regarding what will happen at the end what will the followers of shaitan will see and how they will see the real face of shaitan and the and the conversation of shaitan between him and his followers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very well explained he said wa qala shaytanu lamma qudiya al-amru inna Allah wa'adakum wa'ada al-haqq wa wa'adtukum wa wa'adtukum fa khlaftukum wa ma kana liya alaykum min sultanin illa an da'utukum fastajabtum li fala talumuni walumu anfusakum ma ana bi musrikhikum wa ma antum bi musrikhi inni kafartum inni kafartu bima ashraktumuni min qabl inna adh-dhalimina lahum azabun alim so shaitan will say when the matter has been decided Verily, Allah promised you a promise of truth, and I too promised you, but I betrayed you. I had no authority over you except that I call you, invite you, give you dawa, and you responded to me, accept my invitation. So blame me not, but blame yourself. I cannot help you nor you can help me. I deny your former act in associating me as a partner with Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala by obeying me in the life of the world. Verily there is a painful torment for the zalimun. Subhanallah shaitan himself telling his followers but on the day of judgment that they are zalim they have utilized their limbs their skills their knowledge 
against the directions and commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is their real creator and they use their knowledge their limbs their skills in the obeying of shaitan and that is why shaitan used the word zalim for those who are zalimun or zalimin because they have used their limbs their parts of the body their tongue their ears their eyes against the commandments of allah and in favor of shaitan may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep away from those zalimun and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us among those who follow the commandments of allah and his messenger and sincerely follow the direction of islam which is a natural deen of all human being subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik allah